crotch, bring it back. Single leg swing. Let me teach you how to wrestle. Okay. Let me teach you how to wrestle. And welcome back to Wrestling Mindset. Today we're back again with the great Vogar Rujov. Vogar, thank you for joining us again. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. How are things going at, at your school and at your club so far this year? We, we're very busy. You know, that nice is, um, you know, I'm, I'm coaching at this NASA Community College. We're busy with my college team. And the, in our gym, you know, kids growing. We practice, it's, you know, every day. A couple practice oh, yeah. every day. Everything going well. And the club is good? Yeah, we're doing very good. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we're doing very good. Good, good. So did you watch the documentary on your son? Yeah, I did. I did. What did you think? You know, it's, 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 it was it was cool. It was good. You know, just, I liked it. My wife liked it. You know, then she wasn't watching. You know, then uh, it was good. Good to see, you know, is this, uh, you know, is this his life? It's a true, true documentary, you know, and people know who we are, you know. Yeah, wrestling family. Yes. Now the documentary made it seem like that you have different approaches that you did and and he does when he was out there. It sounded like you were saying he had he has more of a plan, and you and you were more just whatever is open. That's what you hit. Can you talk about that a little bit more? You know, it's just, um, he's, we, we, we always talking with Vito, you know, he's, um, he wasn't asking me, you know, uh, what, you know, what you plan, what is this, uh, your mindset when you wrestle? And I wasn't explaining him, you know, it's just, we all wrestle. Yes. We all, before match, we all stress out. We all afraid. And the, but when you shake hands, done. Everything, you just have focus on, I don't know, you don't have that feeling anymore. You just have focus on you and the, you do what you best on it. Yeah, stay good position. And I wasn't, uh, you know, talking with him. He say, you know, what you feel when you match zero, zero. I am, in my head, I still winning. I don't even think about losing. You know, he said, you know, I take shot because in zero zero, I think I'm losing. I'm taking shot, you know, nonstop. I'm but for me is 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 not take shot. You're gonna take good shot. You have to good setup, you have to more hand fight. I'm not just taking shot. I take in one shot, but good one. So, so stop that we're talking with him and he, we just said, you know, we grew up different country. You know, we have just different coaches, you know, and a different team. So we grew up in, you know, in Azerbaijan. It's just I, when I grew up, you know, I born in Azerbaijan and they grew up in Belarus. We have all kids, you know, it's just that I am all survivors, you know. We didn't, we, you know, everybody says, you know, family have problem, you know. Some drinking problem, you know, and some status in, in, you know, in prison somewhere, you know. So it's just, we have only one coach, and everybody have coach, and the coach listen to the coach, and he say, do that, okay, you know, win lose, we just blame the coach, you know, that's it, <laughs> you know, kind of we don't have that, you know, you you have this, you know, it's hard, you know, that you have that trainer, we don't have, we have this, you know, one coach. He's your dad, he's your coach, he's your gymnastic coach, his nutrition, everything, one guy, yes? And he tell you something and you believe on him and you do it. You know, you know, in the is it's in Cornell, they have his own trainers, you said nutrition. You understand him is a different, different I don't know, it's I think in, you know, we're talking with him, we just uh and we we are with this different body type, you know. I'm short, you know, explosive. She's uh, tall, linky, you know, and but just uh, I don't know. But, but I was thinking, wrestling is wrestling. Doesn't matter what way you are. You have same mindset. You know, just uh, relax your body. You know, you know, it's a focus better when you wrestle. You know, you don't do mistakes. You know, I was what I was explaining him. You know, then 
you don't need to beat somebody ten nothing. You just said, you know, I don't know. I I beat him better three nothing. I know the mistakes, you know, but he's he's thinking differently. He's thinking always is attack, always score. But uh, when I grew up, my coach was saying, first, don't give up anything. It's not just that you score. I'm going to wrestle. I'm my my mind said. I'm not going to give up anything, any point, any position. I score only if I am my my body go. I, I don't think, you know, just say he's that reaction, your muscle memory, reaction, you you know, you believe that, but you fight every position. I don't have plan, you know, then you know, of course, you know, a little bit, you know, okay, I've wrestled with some kids, very good in firemen, and I know. Okay, I'm gonna watch watch fireman. You know, I know that. I feel that he catch when he's cook his arm. Okay, I feel that he's just, he's going fireman. I get a little back up to the circle, get hit, clear his hand. You know, I have that. You know, just a going to you know send him and close your eye to wrestle. No, you sink him, but he's not just a, he's gonna gonna slow me down to do my stuff. What I am good on it. I'm good in high crotch. I am gonna shoot to high crotch. You, you understand what I mean? Is I'm not just saying, gonna focus on you. Yeah, I know you're good, you know, but I'm going to wrestle on me. What well, I'm good on it, right? You know, right. And now, and now in the in the in the American model where there are a lot of coaches, right? Like you said, you had one coach. How how should we yeah. view that to help us wrestle better? Because that's the story with America. You have a team. You have multiple coaches on your team. You have a club coach. You have a, a dad who wrestled. What should the wrestler be? How do they make sense of all that, and how do they stay focused? You know what happened is, is when I grew up, we didn't have that, you know, cameras. We we couldn't to watch other guys wrestling. You know, then we didn't. Redness right is different. You know, college wrestling. Every big school have three, four coaches, and is they they watch other team. You know, you you prepare better. I think is that is is better. If I wrestle someone, you know, I know he, what he does, so. Every you know move has his offense and the defense, so I prepared better. You understand what I mean? But we grew up is we didn't have that resource, and you know we didn't have camera, we didn't have phone. You know you understand what I mean? We we didn't know. We we just trust our coach, and the, and he just said you know and he's you know he gave his best. Yes, I talked to him. With him. He told me, you know, I was in his first. You know, world champion student, and the by himself, he, he wasn't that good wrestler. He was an you know all state wrestler, you know, not next level wrestler. And the he learned to be coach to get there with me. You know, we go to camp. He talking to other coaches. You know, he says he he said, and he wasn't shy. You know, or he didn't have ego. He could you know talk to other coach and ask him you know how he did that. You know how he's bring his guy to win it. And he always asked people and they, you know, he shows, he showed me some move. He, he never did, but he learned him from someone, some tournament, you know, so he says, we, we talking and he told me he grew up then coach, you know, with me. And I grew up with him and be better wrestler. You know, his was process, but if you have, you know, if, if you have this two, three coaches, uh, something gonna hurt you because every school has its own way to teach, yes, own system. But another way, you know, is you start wrestling, you have first coach, kitty program, and the all coming, he's the foundation, he gonna put you good foundation, teach you basics, teach you how to sprawl push head down, teach you single leg, hey, you know, okay, you should, you keep your head up, keep your back straight, yes, keep seeing, small basics, he gonna teach you, now you have foundation, you go to next level, you already know how to shoot, you know, just shoot, diving shoot, you drop level down shoot, yes, you wanna keep your head up, you know, so small basics, but that is all important, where you start your basics, foundation, if you have good foundation, you're going to do well. If you just go to some school, coaching, like teach you foundation, he just teach you to fight, 
to just wrestle, you know, then live wrestling all day, you're going to be good in some level because you're tough kids, strong, but you're going to go to the next level. You have to have perfect technique and just the basics. You know, you don't have to do slick, you know, then superstar, you know, you just that you have good foundation. That important, I think. Right. And it, it sounded like from the documentary that Vito started relatively late compared to like now kids start when they're six years old, even younger. Right. It sounded like he started a little bit later. And I, I would assume your other sons, too. Uh, how did you approach wrestling when when they said they wanted to start wrestling? What basics did you start with with them? I'm sure a lot of dads are interested. Like, what are some of the things you might have done well? What are some of the things you wish you would have done differently with with all of your sons? So what happened? So we live in Brooklyn. Yes, we live in Brooklyn. And the, I work in Long Island. So I was taking train. I live home every day, 4 a.m., you know, come back. It's 8 p.m. So I never have 9 p.m. I never had time to train my kids. So one day, uh, Coach Tom Ryan, you know, Ohio State head coach, he, he introduced me with what uh, one is this guy. His name Scott Arnell. And he said, you know, Scottish kids wrestle and he can help you with financially uh, move to Long Island. And I'm, oh, Long Island expensive. I can't afford it. He said, Scott will help you. So, so he's that about happening. So Scott is, uh, Scott Arnell helped me out and he will move to Syosset. And the, now is his, Scott is his son. Actually, Scott's son, uh, Andrew Arnell, uh, he's my first county champion. Is my first jam. The time is now to take your mindset to the next level with Wrestling Mindset. Make sure you go to our website, WrestlingMindset.com, and sign up for your free trial session today. Don't wait any longer. You want the mental edge right now. When you sign up for the free trial session, you're also going to get a copy of our free ebook, Building the Predator Mindset. This book has helped thousands of people build confidence, relax under pressure, get motivated, and build mental toughness wrestling school and life make sure you sign up for your free trial session today so when i moved to uh long island so i had training in andrew arnell nazis nick was seven graded and the when nick started wrestling before you know i, I never had time so is this uh nick i was his wrestling partner that arnell other son daniel arnell so i have three guys now so two Arnell boys, you know, so I was training as his same uh, three, but later on, you know, one more guy, we, we, we got, he says, uh, green, green. So we got now four. So we started slowly growing. You know, I think my fifth was in uh, Rob Morgan. So now I have his five guys. And, and at that time, this video was in uh, small. And I bring him with me to practice while we train in Scott's house. Sometimes it's his uh, greatest house, Green Green's house. So I, I didn't bring him to too much with me because I, eh, we don't touch something, he breaks something. See, they have big house, you know, then I said, oh, he come, he, he breaks something. He touch, anything he touches, break. So I didn't bring him with me much. I said, you know, you know what? They, they have a big house, you know, it's a rich house. I'm not going to bring him, he's going to break something, yes? So I didn't bring him with me and he, but he says, little bit, little bit. Now I said, okay, I said, listen, we're going to the house. Yes, you can't touch anything. You just are going to straight to the basement and where is wrestling man. So we slowly, you know, say, so I didn't have really time for him. You know, it says, uh, but because I wasn't busy, you know, you know, we, we, we moved from Florida, it says, uh, from California to it's New York. And the, it was in probably the hardest time. It was completely different. And driving large, you know, from, you know, we didn't actually drive at first. I didn't have car. So I take a train, train, bus, subway. You know, it was, it was crazy, hard time. But then I moved to Long Island. So, okay, nice. Is, I, I coaching Nick. And the, you know, it wasn't your first time dad. You know, you don't have experience. Your first time dad coach, you don't have experience. So 
I did a lot of mistake. I I wasn't pushing Nick hard. Yes. And the, my mentality was, okay, he's going to make it or he's going to quit. Yes. If you're not tough, you're not going to win. So I pushed him. You know, so I wasn't a little bit, you know, I, I just said, you know, it's my first first son. I didn't know. I spoiled him and I pushed him, but what we all do. But later on, is uh, I find out yeah, he's different. You know, I should no push him. I should just uh, make him a little bit, you know, not tell him to go run and maybe ask him, yo, let's go run together. You know, how you feel? We go run together. I, I should a little bit, you know, because he's different from Vito. So I should work with him a little different. But I learned. I learned from him. You know, Nick did good. He was three times state champ undefeated. You know, it's just, uh, he he wrestled. You know, in Division One school. He wrestled in Cornell. You know, he's doing well in 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 his, his life. You know, he working. He's making good living. You know, he's doing great. But now as I started with Vito, now I have more experience, so I can push, and I can come back a little bit. You know, he's kind of. Uh, I I wasn't talking with coach. He said, uh, "You know, you kind of you hold it birth at your hand. If you push him too hard, you're gonna kill it. Yes. If you're gonna let him go, he fly out. You don't have him. You know, you don't have his. his. So you have to hold it by hold it a little bit. You know, softy. You understand what I mean? It's, it's stand, but you don't want to let him go. Do you, you know? Say do what you like." So you want to hold his hand, you know, gently, then you don't break him, and you know, you know, you know, let him go because you let him go. Say, we live in New York, you know. Says I, I'm pretty sure everywhere else, you know, says everywhere school drugs, you know, bad friends, you know. You don't want to let your son go. He said, do what you want. So you want to keep him close to you. And I, in my mentality was, if he win, he's good. If he's not, he's okay too because he be around. Wrestler, wrestler, all good people. You know, it may be he be around with good people. He grow up is differently. You know, if win is good, not it's okay too. You know, it's important. He's not gonna do drugs. He's be in gym. I can you know all time support him. Sometimes yell at him. You know, it's his good way. You know, so you know he start fifth grade because I wasn't too busy with uh, with Nick. But right. I learned it from Nick, you know. Makes makes sense. Now with with the documentary on flow wrestling, was there anything that you that you wish they did more of or they did less of? Were there any points that you really liked or certain things that maybe um you would have changed? I am not movie maker, okay? I'm the wrestling coach. Yes. I'm very, I really liked it. I think it was great. Yes, my wife liked it. We watch, I watched with her once and she watched, she told me she watched four times. Yes, she really enjoyed it. She's a proud mom. Her son is a superstar. You know, that it's great. I, I would say it's perfect. And they, they should, you know, maybe offer to oversee. I'm pretty sure in Azerbaijan, they'd be very, very interesting to watch that movie. You know, they, uh, where did we come from? You know, they what they should do. And yeah. probably I'm going to talk to them too. You know, I, I could, you know, introduce them with with Azerbaijan embassy guy, you know, who called us. When Vito went to World Championships, I did a call from embassy. Ambassador called us, you know, and they wasn't very proud. You know, then Vito won the World Championships. I get so many calls. My my friends, and he, you know, yeah, I'm his dad, but I'm, I did not that much, you know. That I just said, you know, put him to right direction. Everything he did himself, you know. Then we don't work for, you know, in wrestling, nobody give it to you. You 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 going to earn it, and he's earned it. You know, he did great. You know, him and Yanni, you know, they doing great. You know, and he's a on the process. Yes. And and now talk about they they didn't emphasize 
what was Nick's role on Vito? Because as the younger brother, you always have an advantage that you have the older brother. Did did he work with him? Did he talk to him? How did Nick help oh, Vito? Wasn't always so, so Nick was in, uh, every time I was in, talking Nick, yelled Nick, she just said, you know, his personality, maybe, you know, we moved from, from Russia. He was eight years old. Is that culture stuff. Nick never talked me back. Never. Even I was wrong. Sometimes I, I know I was wrong. You know, you go home, you know you did wrong, but I'm not going to apologize my kids, you know. I'm not going to do that. I'm okay. He learned it. But Nick know I was wrong sometimes, but he never told me anything. Yes, he always said, okay, just shake his hand. Just go do it, yes. And the, after I was in coaching Navito, I was in kind of yelling at him. And he come up to me. He said, stop yelling my brother, yes. And uh, and he was in, start talking, you know. And he says, Nick was in a big part as Vito's success. You know, he says, he always in, of course, he wasn't that good, you know, but he says, but he always is, you know, talk with me about Vito and always going to drill with him, wrestle with him, you know, and it was great. He's a big part and the big part actually, you know, and he wasn't talking with me, how he feel, you know, it's just, uh, what I was getting older, you know, we had, we, we talk, you know, we're friend now. And he was telling me, you know, that's what what has his feel, what I should do, you know. And I'm learning, you know. You your first time dad, you don't know. You know, you don't know you you know your problem is this you love your kids, you spoil your kids, and you don't you don't understand to lose. You want to say always win. You know, you, you want to always say do better than you are. So he's a problem. You know, you want to, but by, by, by you look to reality, you know, you have to fail to come up. You have to lose the matches. You know, you have to, that feeling, you lose match, you're burning, you know, you go home, you hate everyone, you hate yourself, and a little bit slow down, and you understand, you know, it's not into work, you know, you did mistake. You, you go and the, you fix your mistake. If you lost, you lost. You know, you did something wrong. You know, maybe you hang out too much time with your girlfriend or drink some extra beer, you know, you shouldn't do. So you're learning. You know, you got to watch your matches. You you, you fix your mistake. It's no big deal. But then parents, you know, I don't know. You, you're thinking they are you. But they are not you. They they smarter. You know, they live in different generation. So, you know, you're learning. You're learning. You'll be dad, coach, you know. And and you're learning every day. You know, it says every day you, you learn how to talk to your kids. You know, and you just have, you learn learning, getting older, you learn how to listen. Because when you're younger, you just tell them what to do. Now you're older, you're just listening too. You know, just, okay, stop, listen. He's, he's, he's part, you know. Okay, you know, you know, just, I want just to help you. You know, that's it. You know. And what what would you say Vito needs to do to be, to win the NCAAs again, and then he's got to get his weight down for one for 125? Right for the for the um yes. two, what is it two weeks right after two or three weeks two, it's two, NCAA weeks, yeah yeah so so talk about what you think he should do to approach that mentally and emotionally because of course he just won the NCAA as he asked last year most outstanding wrestler and now he's defending his title going out again and then going for more importantly the Olympics what should he be thinking you know it's just uh, when you just uh... You know, third city in, in, in NCAA, fourth city in NCAA, is not really too much pressure. Yes, but when you are national champion, return, everybody want to beat you. Now, how you can have to defend your title, you have to do more stuff. 
Yes, you have to have better discipline, you know, then better diet, you know, stuff that I it's not gonna be easy, you know, but life is challenge. And the you know, yes, I, I could probably help him more, but I live in New York City, you know, in Long Island. He lives in upstate New York. He's have to go to school. He has his own coaches. So I'm not with him. Yes. So oh, I really can help. His, his part, you know, of course, it's my season over a little early. I go sometime in weekend, you know, to just say, okay, watching his matches, give it him a little bit, you know, tip. But he has his own coaches. And they do a great job. You know, uh, Coach Pirelli, you know, he's with him all the time. You know, now he's, uh, you know, Coach Gray, you know, he's in season. So he's, just, he's wrestling now. He's wrestling all the time with Callan Russell. So it's just, uh, it's his situation, not easy situation, you know, because he should do red shirts. You just have to focus on freestyle, but but when we have conversation with him, he said he told me, you know, I'm I'm tired from school. I want just to, it's over, it's over. I just have focus freestyle, and the, I'm going to take my chances. I'm gonna do it his way. I'm okay, you know. I think he's a right now. You you're not gonna say what is right, what is wrong, but he have to do it. And if his work is good, not he's okay. No pressure. Is this only everything is God will, you know? You just do your part, you know, and listen to your coaches, and give your best, and he hopefully he gonna work out. Okay, excellent. Yeah, well, we we look forward to watching him this year. We of course we wish him the best, and we'll have to get Thanks. him sometime. And I'll have to get over sometime to your wrestling club. Be over I, there again. We so. welcome anytime. Yes. I still want you to show me how to use the bands so I can teach yeah, my we boys. Will. We definitely will. <laughs> Excellent, Vogar. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Too.